and welcome back. Uh-oh, private companies might be able to see your browsing history after this law is passed. The U.S. Senate voted to kill regulations that would allow your internet service provider to sell your browsing history to the highest bidder. From New York Post, the Senate voted to kill Obama-era online privacy regulations, a first step toward allowing internet providers such as Comcast, AT&T, and Verizon to sell your browsing habits and other personal information as they expand their own online ad businesses. Those rules, not yet in effect, would have required internet providers to ask your permission before sharing your personal information. That's a much stronger privacy protection weapon than letting them use your data until you tell them to stop. As anyone who has ever tried to stop getting targeted ads on internet knows, opting out is hard. Without those protections, consumer advocates fear that broadband providers will also be able to do as they like with people's data. Advertisers and marketers are lining up to get access to all the information that's now available to us, said Jeff Chester of Center of Digital Democracy, which advocates for tougher internet privacy measures. Online privacy? What online privacy? Of course, Google and Facebook already track you. But proponents of the privacy measure argued that the company that sells your internet connection can see even more about you. Every website you visit, every app that sends or receives data, everyone you email, and many that you message. Telecom companies argue that companies like Google know far more, far more about users than they do. Consumer advocates also point out that it can be hard in many areas of the country to dump your cable or phone company for another one if you don't like its practices. Of course, it's also hard to stop using Google or Facebook. Well, I happen to know for a fact that they track our stuff, mainly because if you ever shop on Amazon and then you go on Google the next day, you notice that the stuff you're looking at it on Amazon, it shows up on the side of your screen asking you if you like this or you like that. So it's already happening. The president is ready for a vote on Friday. White House Chief Strategist Steve Bannon left a meeting on the AHCA telling the press that the president is ready for a vote on Friday. How are you? How do you feel? There you have it. God be with us. Trump approves a major construction project and it's big. More jobs for the American public. President Trump has just approved the Keystone XL pipeline to be constructed by TransCanada. From Zero Hedge, it's official. Moments ago, TransCanada said the U.S. Department of State issued a presidential permit for the construction of the Keystone XL pipeline, ending a multi-year con controversial, at times acrimonious, debate over the future of the pipeline. The pipeline linking Canadian oil sands to U.S. refiners had been blocked by Barack Obama, who said the pipeline would do nothing to reduce fuel prices for U.S. motorists and would contribute emissions like global warming, which doesn't actually exist, so everything should be fine. This is a significant milestone for the Keystone XL project, said Russ Gerling, TransCanada's president and chief executive officer, said in a statement. We're greatly, we greatly appreciate President Donald Trump's administration for reviewing and approving this important initiative and we look forward to working with them as we continue to invest and strengthen North America's energy infrastructure. TransCanada also said it would continue to work with Nebraska, Montana and South Dakota to get necessary permits and approvals to advance project to construction. So I guess this solid orange line is the existing <coughs> and the dotted line is the proposed so, looks like there'll be quite a bit of work there. American Steel with American Hands.